Jimmy Page has paid a touching tribute to Dwayne Eddy, the rock and trailblazer and guitar hero, who passed away earlier this week. Led Zeppelin's former band leader, producer, and guitarist posted a message of condolence on Instagram, saluting both Eddie's character and influence. I am sad to hear of the passing of Dwayne Eddy, Page posted. I first saw him perform at the Granada in Kingston in November 1963, and topping the bill that evening was Gene Vincent. In 2011, I spoke to Dwayne on the radio from the BBC studios, as the producers had prepared a link up with him in Nashville. Dwayne was hosting a tribute program to Les Paul, and we discussed the massive pioneering contribution that Les had presented to the world. More recently, in 2018, I had the chance to meet Dwayne and his wife as he performed at the London Palladium, alongside Richard Hawley. He was introduced to the stage that night by whispering Bob Harris, and it was a pleasure to get the chance to meet him. He was such a lovely man. Dwayne Eddy twanged the thang in the late 50s and 60s, and you can hear his character sound appearing throughout the decades of popular music. He will be missed, and my thoughts are with his family. Rest in peace, Dwayne. Eddie died of cancer on Tuesday, April 30th, at the Williamson Health Hospital in Franklin, Tennessee. Dwayne inspired a generation of guitarists the world over with his unmistakable signature twang sound, read a statement released by the musician's family. He was the first rock and roll guitar god, a truly humble and incredible human being. He will be sorely missed. Dwayne Eddy, a Grammy Award-winning American guitarist, produced numerous instrumental songs over four decades. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994. Early in his career, Eddy developed a technique that entailed playing lead guitar on bass strings, producing the distinctive low reverberant twangy sound 